I am going to show you how to create a distribution list with an Outlook 2007. Uh, really simple to do, a good way to send an email message to a group of people that you typically contact quite a bit and uh, need to get a hold of. So uh, right now I currently have Outlook open, but if you don't, you can go to Start and uh, Outlook should be here on the main part of your Start menu. Otherwise, you can go to All Programs and find um, Microsoft Office and that should be where you can find Outlook 2007 but I have it open right now so I can go ahead and go into um, Outlook and I can click on my contacts right here it's probably the best place to start so I'll go to contacts um, I think I've explained before that if you hit the drop down arrow you can go ahead and kind of add any item within Outlook that you'd like to by default uh, depending on what section you're on. I'm on the contacts, contact section of the program right now. If I just hit new, it would create a new contact. Um, but I want to go ahead and hit the drop down arrow and hit distribution list. So really you can do this from any part of the program. I can go to my mail and then I can go to the drop down arrow under new and then go to distribution list. So I'm going to go ahead and hit distribution list and now it pops up with a, a prompt to create my new distribution list. So I'm going to call it, um, let's say I have a baseball team that I want to keep in touch with. So I'm going to type in baseball team and now I've got a name for it. Um, up here on the ribbon you're going to see a lot of different options as far as uh, uh, members, notes, select members, add new. So um, first thing I can do if I want to add someone from my uh, current contacts list or the organization contacts list I can hit select members or if I have someone that I don't have in my address book yet I can hit add new. So we're going to do both. So I'm going to go here and hit select members and here it comes up with the global address list. So I can go ahead and add anyone that is on our exchange um, uh, address list. But let's say I want to add, um, we'll add one person from my exchange address book. So I'm going to just click on his name and add to the members and hit OK. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and, and hold, hold off on hitting OK because I want to just add that that one member from our global address list within Exchange. I can also hit my drop-down list here. And from my own address Outlook book, I can hit Contacts. And if I hit Contacts, it brings up all of my um, personal contacts that I've added in here myself. So I'm going to go ahead and add another person here and go ahead and add them to my, my baseball team list. So let's say those two people are on my baseball team and I want to add them. So I just need to make sure I hit this drop-down arrow over here. So there's a lot of different options you can select. The gl global address list is the default list within the Exchange server um, that allows you to contact anyone within our organization. Um, otherwise, you can go to your Outlook address book, which is your personal contacts list. So I've added a member from each. So I've done with that now. So I can hit OK. And now it shows their names over here um, under the members of the baseball team distribution list. So um, now I have that done. And let's say I have a new person on the team. I haven't added them to my contacts yet, but I want them to be on the distribution list. So I'm going to go back up here to the ribbon, and I'm going to hit Add New. So I hit Add New. And here's the display name, and we're going to add the person's name, and and the email address, and then um, SMTP is the the standard email type. You can hit custom type or internet type, so uh, custom is fine. Or excuse me, the the default is probably fine for what you need it for. Um, Internet format, let Outlook choose the best sending format. Um, I leave that by default. Uh, send plain text only is probably um, the most compatible way to send an email. Or send in rich text, that's probably the least compatible way. So I'd say let Outlook decide. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and hit OK. If Before you hit OK, though, if you'd like to add this person to your contacts, you can click this little box there. So that way you can add that individual person to a contact in your address book. Um, otherwise, if you don't hit that box, it'll just add this person to that distribution list and you'll have to re-add them if you want to put them in your contacts later on. So let's say I want to keep him in my contacts also. So I'll hit add to contacts. Okay. And there is the the name. I've got uh, my three players on my baseball team. And I want to go ahead and hit, and hit save and close. And now you're probably wondering how we want to send to that list. So um, first we'll look at it here within our contacts. We go to contacts and we go to um, the contact list. You'll see the different cards here. Like right here I have a, um, there's a individual contact. It tells the details. And then over here is my group, my distribution list. So um, it says it's a group um, and has the name of it. I can go ahead and right click on there and I can go create 
new message to contact. Um, that's one way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and show you just to kind of uh, get a better idea of just from a regular mail message. So uh, if I go up here to new and hit mail message, I can go ahead and hit my to button here. And I'm on my global address book now, uh, global address list. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the drop down arrow and change that to my my actual contacts locally. Within the global address list, we have uh, a few different distribution uh, lists that are on the Exchange server itself. That's administrated by myself, so um, I don't want to select those because that's not the one I created. The one I created is my personal list, and that is within the Outlook address book. So I'll just hit Contacts, and now if I go down my list here, I see a bold uh, name here, and that bold name gives me a good idea of um, if it's a distribution list or not. So the one, there's my new contact that I added to that distribution list. It's not in bold, and here's my distribution list. So uh, I want to send to the whole list, and I'll hit two. And I can also send to other individual uh, people in here also. So I can go ahead and just uh, click both those. Uh, I want to send to my group and that individual. So I can go ahead and OK, and then there in the two line, I've got the distribution list that individual contact. I can type my subject and then I can go ahead and type my message. And I can go ahead and hit send and that will send to all three members on this distribution list and this individual member also. So if I don't want to send to that individual member, I'll just go ahead and take them out. And now I have uh, a message ready to send to the three members of the baseball team. So uh, really simple to do, really easy to, uh, to set up and uh, a good way to get a hold of your contacts within your Outlook, uh, Outlook mail program.